Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. I'm gonna try something different today. I've never fished out of Newport Landing here, which is that building right back there. I just met David here on the bench. He's watched a few of the videos. We're going out today on the aggressor. This is what it looks like here at the harbor at sunrise. It's gonna be a great day. The fish are supposed to be biting. We're gonna go out there and see what we can catch. All right, everybody, here's the aggressor. What we're gonna be fishing is out of Newport Landing, says it right here on the side of the boat. It's gonna be a good day. All right, I've got a few minutes before the boat's gonna load. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of the boardwalk. We've got Jane's corn dogs there. We've got the Ferris wheel right here. If you want to see a great view of the harbor right on that Ferris wheel, just a great morning to be alive down here, ready to go fishing. Here's the Balboa fun zone. So inside there, I've got all kinds of arcades and stuff going. But this is what the boardwalk looks like early morning. Not a lot of people, just the fishermen out here. It's going to be a good day. And I saw these guys mixing menhaden oil in with popcorn. I was wondering what they're doing. They are bird watchers. Yeah, but out on the ocean, so we're looking, we're trying to get attack birds. So, so, so not very so, well. <laughs> two things. So one is that uh, several seabirds are attracted to the smell of fish oil, uh, or uh, or other smells. You know, they they hunt uh, or forage by smell. That's one thing. And then gulls just like to investigate whatever is in the water. So popcorn just, you know, popcorn brings birds that want to see what's going on. And the fish oil brings birds that are smelling something in the water. So, so what boat are you guys going out on today? We're going on the, uh, the Zodiac, the, the turn there. Okay, you're on the, the yeah, turn there. There are certain kinds of birds that will come from miles away to, to see what stinks. So you guys are going out bird watching today? Yeah. That's the intent. All right, Cousin Jim here. I just met Hunter. He's seven years old. We're going out on what boat today? Aggressor. We're on the Aggressor today. What are we going to catch? Yellowtail and bluefin. <laughs> Yellowtail and bluefin? Have you ever caught a bluefin before? Yes. You have? How big was he? Uh, Tell him we caught four of them yesterday. We caught four of them yesterday. On what boat? Uh, Our private, private boat. On a private boat. Cool. That's lots of fun. I went out last weekend. I caught one out down in Ensenada. Did you see that video? No. All right. Well, I just put it up yesterday or maybe the day before. So you'll see it. It's coming. So this is my new buddy, Hunter. We're going out on the aggressor today. We're going to have a great time. And here's dad over here. What's your name, buddy? Jeff Brewer. All right, Jeff. We're going to have fun, man. Down here in the galley. What's your name? Haley. Haley and Nick. And Nick. All right. Is that from the galley here? No, no, it's not. It's oh. actually from the donut shop. Right? It's from the donut shop here on the dock. Looks like an egg and uh, something Sausage. sandwich. Egg and cheese. All righty. So if you get here early, hit that donut shop. They got donuts and sandwiches. I got a soda out of there first thing this morning. So here we go. Boat's moving. We're starting the video. All right, everybody. Here we go. We're getting ready to go. This is everybody fishing on the aggressor today. What are we going to catch? Fish? A big ones? All right, as big as you, I hope. Right there's the houses out on Newport Peninsula. Balboa Peninsula, actually. There's Balboa Island. Ferry runs back and forth right between there. There's a ferry heading out across now. All right, here's the bait barge down here in Newport. It's much, much smaller than the one in San Diego, but it's actually run by the same company. So I imagine bait prices are the same. Probably about $45 a scoop. There's a guy fishing his kayak. He's hooked up. He's just pulling up a nice little spotted sea bass right there in the kayak. That's the first fish we saw of the day. <laughs> Good. Check out all these guys on their kayaks catching bass right here by the bait barge. Ready, ready? All the fish that escape from here keep the sea life flowing right here by the barge. Like all of these trips, they start at the bait barge. If you got good bait, you're gonna have a good day. Those are some full scoops. We just left the harbor back there. Look at this, it is going to be a beautiful day. 
There's virtually no swell, no chop. It's gonna be fantastic out there. All we gotta do now is find the fish. If you're enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button. I'm having fun making them for you. So we got Nacho here working the grill. He's getting my burritos ready. That looks like it's gonna be a burrito there. You doing eggs sunny side up also? No, scramble. No special orders, huh? No. <laughs> well, thanks, Nacho. Yes, sir. All right, we've been traveling about two hours and 15 minutes. There is Catalina Island. So that's the far end. It's rocky and cliffs on this side. And at the other end is where Twin Harbors are. So I think we're gonna run about another hour. So we're gonna end up 10, 15 miles past Catalina. Heard yesterday they were catching piles of bluefin tuna out there. I think that's what we're gonna get. Check this out, people. There's a big old sunfish just floating out here. It's a big head with a couple of fins. If you ever touch one of those guys, they are as slimy as can be. That one there looked like he was probably 250, 300 pounds. Just saw a whale over there. We're pulling up to a kelp paddy. So I think there's gonna be some fish around. I hope there's some on this paddy. Kelp paddy, there's a few birds on it. Captain's gonna put it on the port side. We'll see if there's any fish here. Oh, there's some fish. There they are. There's fish here. Okay, so we got a kelp paddy here. I saw one Dorado jump. I just saw something big out there in the distance. Don't know what it was. This bait has decided to stop swimming though for some reason. I got a good bait. It's going out there. After fishing this spot for less than two minutes, the captain said, wind them up. Okay, here we got Hunter. He's the youngest pinhead I've ever seen on a boat. He's seven years old. He's rigging these rental rods right now. You got a hook for him? Yeah, I got a hook right here. You want to put a sinker on that first? He's on the job. All right, he's, he's, he's got, got one. one. He's set up. Put it down through, go over the hook. There he goes. That looks like a perfect Palomar to me. Hey everybody, after a four hour boat ride, we're finally here. Here's Catalina Island. We did stop on a couple of kelp patties, saw some uh, Dorado jumping, didn't get any bites. Everybody threw some bait in the water. And so now we're coming up to the island. Don't know what we're gonna do, but I hope we catch some fish. All right, there's Bird Rock on the backside of Catalina Island. We're gonna find something out here. We just need a kelp patty now full of fish that want to bite. And there's the backside of Catalina. Most people have never seen that. All right, a hook up next to me. It's got a little calico bass coming up. Here it comes up from the deep. There he is. All right, here we go. We stopped at our second kelp patch along the shore here. We've got some seals coming along right now, but let's see. We got lots of people fly lining, spinning rods, Sorry about that. conventionals. Anybody hooked up back here? You go, you got one. Not yet. Here we go, hooked up right here. This young lady's got one. Yeah, but there's a line around the. See the line? You got the boat, Miss. Let me see your line. You got the boat. All right, we got one coming up here. All right. There you go, buddy. Excuse me. Another calico. Here, show me that thing. All right, there we go, calico. Okay, this guy right here, he has been tearing them up. Flipping that anchovy out there. Let's see, pressure is on. What's your name, sir? My name is Vince Borrego. All Phoenix, right, Vince. Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. So you come out here often? Uh, yeah, uh, trying to escape the heat. Out here there we go. Uh, we got MMA. something on over here. What do we got? The struggle is on. And I heard an awe, so that means whatever it was has come off. There we go. We're hooked up right there in the corner. Oh, 
and he came off. The rail dance has started. Over, under, keep your line straight. Here we go. There we go, Vince. That's right in the mouth of that one. There we go. That's how easy it is. All you got to do is follow Vince around, do what he does, and you're going to catch some fish. Another nice calico coming in. A little short. A little short, but a good looking fish. And we've got people up both sides of the boat. We're anchored here. We got Nacho throwing bait off the bait tank up there. We are going crazy. Where are these fish? Calico bass coming. We got kelp right behind the boat here. That's where most of these fish are going to come from. Okay, we got another one on here in the corner. Oh, he came off. And with that tube jig, you just letting it sink there? You're working? Yeah, just dropping, letting, letting it drop all the way down. Slow retrieve on the way back. Okay. You seem to be getting hit. Seems like you got hit. Something smoked it. The uh, fish are mid-water column. They're not on the top, not on the bottom, so you just gotta let the bait sink until it gets right when it hooks up. Oh, there we go. Got a hook up over on the right here. Look how smoothly he's working him. Lift up, pump down. Just like they teach you on TV. There we go. Another calico bass. Probably a little short, but what's your name, man? David. David, all right. David got one. Good job, buddy. Thank you. There we go. Oh, no, it popped off. He missed it. That's darn. Yeah. You need a Kevin Van Dam hook set on that. Oh yeah, got some teeth marks, but right next to you there, Vince knows how to do it. He is hooked up. No, it's a seal. You got the seal? I think I got the seal. No. They're really good eating. You would have pulled your line all the way to the line already. Yeah, it's going after it. Yeah, it took your, it ate your barracuda. Oh, it ate your barracuda. Thanks, man. You think that'll measure? I think it's I know that <laughs> small. It's close. Jackpot. <laughs> so Vince caught a barracuda head. Barracuda head. Fish soup tonight. Yep, fish head soup. That's why they make it in the islands. Is that number four or number five on this calico here? Number five, I think. Number five. There they go. They've all been short so far. I got one keeper. Oh, you got a keeper? Oh, I didn't see that one. Man. Might have something coming in up here. Oh yeah, a little salad there for dinner. There we go. Number six. This guy knows how to catch them. But does he know how to keep them? Let's watch. Is this a keeper or does he go back? Let's see, folks. It's, it's a beautiful looking little calico. Look at the markings on that thing. Aggressive eaters, they swallow those things. But there he goes. You want to see the keeper? There we go. Look at that calico bass. Good job, man. There we go. We got a we got a seal following us. That what ha that's what happens to half the bait and half, half the, the fish. fish. <laughs> yeah. They call it the no name. There he is. He's, he's cute, but he's a dick. We just pulled into another spot. Everybody's dropping baits in the water again. The seal followed us right over here. Two of them. Oh, we got two seals here? Yeah. They're mating. Yeah. Because we have twice the seals, we'll catch half the fish. They'll get some good meals out of this. There we go. You got one down? You got one on? It's coming up. What you got, buddy? Indeed. Calico? There we go. Calico bass. Here, show me that thing. All right, nice fish, man. Good job. All right, got a little white fish here. All right, we got a barracuda hooked up here. Hands up. And he's on the boat. Is it 16 inches? Is that the uh, 28. Oh. Gotta be that whole rule right there. <laughs> He's gonna be close. 
Can I keep her or no? I don't know. Excuse me, sir. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. We got a keeper. We got one. We got one. So, what'd you catch him on, sir? Uh, anchovy. On the anchovy bottom? Any weight? And an eighth ounce sliding sinker. Eighth ounce sliding sinker. Yes, sir. There's a little nicer bass. Is that one a keeper? Looks like it. Sorry. What's he got to be? 14. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's yeah. Like almost 16. He's got a 16 inch calico. All right, there's a little bit of salad to go along with that calico bass we caught earlier. There we go, nice calico bass. There we go. What's your name? What's his name? My first catch. Good. That's a good looking fish. It's hooked up in front. Finally. There it is. Barracuda. There we go. Well, David, did he make it? No, nah, he was a little short. <laughs> oh, man. There's the old casino. They still throw some parties and stuff in there. Then uh, you see that little steeple building over there. That was the uh, Newport Marlin Club. Not Newport, I'm sorry, Catalina. Island Marlin Club, Tuna Club than that you see that ball right over there that's my uh, brother-in-law's ball where he keeps his boat parked okay I just spotted you see the stairway right there by the casino that is a little private swimming area it's kind of a reserve there's uh, kelp beds in there and that is where lots of people come to do their open water dive to get certified for scuba diving remember this water temperature in the middle of the summer is 66 degrees it is cold here but i've been diving there lots of nieces and nephews got certified here in southern california and that's where they did their open water dives when you come over to catalina island if you want to rent a jet ski just get the shore boat they'll bring you right out here to the jet ski rental boat and you can just run all around here having fun because of the coloring on that one, that's probably a rental right there. All right, we're hooked up here. <laughs> He's got another calico bass. What are you using for bait there? Is that a cold sniper? Yeah. All right. He's got a little. Cold sniper, bro. Yep. Got a nice little calico bass. There goes <laughs> another one. There we go. We got a fish on. What do you think it is? Another calico? There we go. Another calico bass. We got another one coming in, three people down there, I believe. There we go, that looks like a keeper. You got one on too now? Yep. All right, we've got another one on. The bass bite is on fire here. That means I'm gonna watch this fish come in and then I'm gonna go get my rod. Oh yeah, there we go. He's gonna be close. There we go, Mike's got another little calico. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh, Mike's got a giant calico there. Sorry. I... Mike is on fire. He is the guy that knows how to do it right now. If... He's got a little quarter in, quarter ounce weight. An eighth ounce weight. Probably a number four hook. On a 15 pound line. That's exactly well, Hunter, have you got one today? Only two bass. You got two bass? That's pretty good. I just had an encounter with a seal. All I got is the head left. So we're leaving this spot because the seals are tearing us up. Headed for home. And there's a piece of... There's a piece of kelp out there. I got a bait that's ran all the way out there by that kelp. He's swimming hard, but nothing's interested in him yet. 
just have to see what happens here. That's my bait swimming it out. I can sure feel him. He is pulling hard. Keeps getting a big surge or two, but he's not getting picked up by anything. Something scaring him though. He's moving hard. All right, we got a kelp patty right here. They've seen some Dorado swimming around. I got a bait that seems to be going out pretty good. It's not quite headed towards the kelp patty, but hopefully he turns to us soon. All right, we got a chunk of kelp out there floating. We've got a... Uh, Seven! <laughs> we got uh, baits in the water. We saw some Dorado free swimming by. There's fish here. So far, nobody's proved it though. We've only seen it. It's time to prove it. Oh, come back on. There's the entrance to the harbor. We got a uh, Corona Del Mar over there on the right side. We've got um, Balboa Beach to the left. We're going right into the harbor. We'll see Balboa Island, the bait barge, probably the ferries. Had a great trip out here today. Weather was perfect. Look at this ocean. It was flat when we left. It's flat now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button.